Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where we hodl Bitcoin and where Bitcoin still is a revolution. Today's TA video, amazing charts. Let's jump right into them because you will want to see these cool, cool, cool charts. Let's quickly jump into the charts. Bam! But my mind can't get no rest. First one. Yes, this is the chart where I told you uh, whew, a couple of days ago or almost a week ago. Yeah, when we were topping out of 42, I expected a pullback to 37,500, this yellow line, and then to move up again. Look what we are doing. Yes, we are doing that. Um, we did pull back exactly to 37,500 that was like more luck than whatever else. <laughs> but then we need to go up again and we need to keep tracking this yellow line and if we would do this yes we can pull back and go up and pull back like you know it's not going to go up in straight line we can pull back we can go up we can pull back we can go up we can pull like this this is a crucial moment somewhere there that we need to break that red downward trend line talked about it many times but i'm not going to talk any longer that is what i think um yes if we break this line bam we could go down but let's stay positive the class is half full we need to go up we need to go up above 40k and why bam because you can see on this weekly that we need to try to put our neck above that 40k level the yellow line of the EMA ribbon. The moment we close this candle in three days and 16 hours above this one, that is bullish. If this candle closes above that yellow line, so above this area over there, that is bullish, guys. Because then we are breaking the EMA ribbon. And like I said, on the weekly, whenever we did that before, that was a very positive sign. You can see here we broke it and then we went up to the 60k run. If we break it here, we will again go up for a huge run. Yes, this one, very strong. This is the NVT. It is still red. The long as it stays red, we can go up longer, longer, longer. If we switch to this gray, then that is negative. We can fall down again. Yeah, here we can see the crossover. We are about to enter that bluish box. And when we see this blue line crossing the red line and entering this bluish box of the level of 20, Look to the left, all those circles, what happened? Huge runs in Bitcoin price as well. Huge runs in Bitcoin price as well. So we are doing this again. This week, very exciting to see what will end happen at the end of this week. Also here we can see the MACD, um, the red, uh, the red, the red stripes, stripes are becoming smaller and we will need to find a green one. And when this uh, blue one is going to cross the red one, we will probably see a beautiful green one on the bottom and then maybe even see a buy signal on the hash ribbons, all looking pretty awesome. To me, not freaking out, zooming out because it's Thursday, almost BAM weekend. Guys, um, how did the BAM BAM trader do? Um, let's see, we had a long over there that closed above the yellow stepping line. We had a green dot, we had green and we had the bam bam closing over there so there was a lot of confirmations and um, all those confirmations told us to buy bitcoin a long bitcoin whatever you do let's take it a little bit later to the short flag over there that's a 4.1 percent 5.1 percent with a leverage of 10 calculate how much it would have been and um, the short flag we would have taken normally when the candle closes down below the yellow stepping line and then we should have seen more yellow and um, we would have taken it maybe a little bit later, but the red line was on top. That is very positive. You see the yellow starting. That was very positive. And the bam bam already crossed the line over there. That's very positive. So this was a mixed feeling trade. But for the people that take a risk, they take the trade there. And less risky people would take the trade there, which would be around the seven, uh, same level and have a profit now of around 1.3%. So that's uh, two trades, uh, almost 7%. Uh, with the leverage of 10, do your calculations. That's a lot of trades, profits. Bam! If you want to trade all of that, please, guys, go to our videos. Down below the videos, you will find all these links. Femix, at the moment, a $1,200 bonus. $1,200 worth of free trading. If you trade this with a leverage of 10, for example, you're trading with 12,000. With a leverage of 20, you're trading with 25,000. That's free 
trading money, guys. Prime X with the 50% bonus. Buy a bit, $1,600 bonus is back. You can get some free buy a bit merch and site. Um, and Dudex, still a $300 bonus. Even if you want to trade buy bits, use our links. The fees we use to help people all over the world, like you've seen in all the videos that we have been making about it. If you want to try to trade the Bam Bam indicator, then make sure you sign up to Machina Trade over there and also to the Oryx trading platform over there. Both are free to sign up and on both our indicators will soon be kicking ass for some of you also for free. But more about that later. Guys, now let's jump into the amazing, 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 amazing charts. This. Ah, this news is the best news I've read this morning. I really like this one. Uh, look, if you look at the market cap of uh, the banks and all that stuff then all that stuff just the banks <laughs> and then you put bitcoin and an ethereum in between of those then bitcoin has the biggest market cap bitcoin has the biggest market cap. let me repeat the one that they tell uh, it's a scam and the one we say be your own bank you know those big ass yellow letters on my car be your own bank we are our own bank and yes we are one of the biggest banks if not the biggest bank because if you look the market cap of bitcoin is 780 billion and then jp morgan chase is only 450 billion and the bank of america is 324 billion and then ethereum almost 300 billion and then icbc they're all smaller 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 than bitcoin guys bitcoin be your own bank is the biggest bank. Don't think of Bitcoin as something that is like a, just a multi-level marketing or a get rich quick scheme or something. No, it's becoming the biggest bank, just like Uber became the biggest taxi company all over the world without owning any taxis. That is how Bitcoin is becoming the biggest bank without being a bank. Guys, next chart. Bam, over here, this one. This is the top bottom models. You can see some models on this chart that are predicting the Bitcoin price. Now, we have the BTC price, that's the black line. We have the top price. Uh, we have the BTC realized price, the green line, and you see the formula, delta price. Uh, now, you can see all these lines that are predicting where Bitcoin could go in the top. The important part of this chart is that whenever the Bitcoin price touches this area over there, between the yellow and the red line. The yellow line is a warning signal. When we come near this yellow line, we cross it, that is a warning signal. Be prepared to sell your Bitcoins. The moment we touch that red line, get the fuck out of the market. Sell, exchange to a stable coin, buy back later. And when do you buy back? You buy back between these green lines. The bright green line is an indication, ah, watch out guys. This could be the moment that uh, Bitcoin is bottoming out. And then the dark green line, that is the moment that you say, okay, now I'm going all in. I'm going to sell my house. I'm going to sell my cars. I'm going to sell my toys with the kids. I'm going to sell everything I have. I go all in at Bitcoin. If you do that at that bottom green line, you will make a shitload of profit every time again. Guys, if you would have stepped into Bitcoin over there, you would have a, shit, have a shitload of profit. It's like 3K to 60K, that's times 20. If you would have bought with me over there in this period of time, that's uh, the beautiful time of, I'm lying, this period of time, that's a beautiful time of Bitcoin between $800 and 3K, you would have a, made a shitload of money. If you would have stepped in around that greenish lines, you would always make money. So, ask the question now is, is it still a moment to step into Bitcoin? Because we are in between the green, bright, and the yellow line. Yes, look, we still need to go above the yellow line to the red line. If you go in now at 30K or 40K almost, uh, we can still go to 100K. That's doubling your investment. Just make sure when you do that, don't believe that it's going to go up to 1 million in that run. Believe that we touch the red line, we will go down again. So sell. Hold all your stable currencies, please no dollar or euros, but USDT or DAI or PAX or whatever, and then buy back at those green lines. That is how you play this four year cycle. Bam, another really cool chart. That's the last one of today. Wow, this is a video without any mistakes. That is going really well, Diddy. Maybe you should go and drink more often in the evening. Um, no, that I'm not definitely not going to do. 
that is the glass note chart the proportional long and short term holder supply what is very important on this chart chart is to look at that bluish line the bluish line is the long term holder supply and every time when that long term holder supply comes around 63 to 75% that is the moment we see this bull run look we are around that level now there in 2013 and then bam we saw the bull run do that in 2017 here look 71 was the level bam we saw the bull run we are talking about during the bull run the level was higher here in the bear time as well but we are talking during the bull run now every time during these runs up we touch those levels 67 again we had a huge run to 14k every time guys now we at the moment here this is october 68 we had a huge run to 60k now we are here at 66 so we are at a very safe place if we are able to stay at the 66 level for some months or maybe even push it up to a 68 level or whatever 70 we will see this huge bull run again that is what this chart is telling me i guess if you look to the combination of in the, in, in the combination of the short-term holder supply and the long-term holders so the short is the pinkish line and you can see that it was around 37 22 16 16 that's every time when it is bottoming out so this one is around 20 now if we drop a little bit lower to 16 again that is a combination a very powerful combination that's that shocking comfort combination that will shock the market and will push bitcoin up tremendously so that was bam everything for today short but powerful only 11 minutes again i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think about the charts that was a fly hitting my leg again and yes i will do a lot a walk a talk more often again but just a little bit busy with my family and all that stuff so you don't have the time but i will do more family videos again very soon because i know you love them thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing thursday and i wish you an amazing thursday i hope you have an amazing friday and i wish you an amazing friday and then already weekend guys so um, enjoy your day and see you later or tomorrow again bam